How's it going everybody? Harold with Buckeye Reviews. I am finally back. I took a nice break from YouTube and I am here with a new light. This is the Well Tool. I believe the model number is the M6 series. Uh, also known as the Golden Eye Tiger Cub. Uh, this pen light is a very unique. Um, for one, it has a multitude of purposes. You could use it for medical use, you know, getting up in the eyes, down the throat, whatever, checking IV tubes, uh, tele strips, whatever. Um, or it could be used as an inspection light. Um, as you'll see from the beam shots we're going to have, the versatility lies in the fact that you can change the heads on this. It's just as simple is unscrewing one, like so, and putting the other one on. If I can do it. Never fails when I'm shooting a video, right? It's like, no, I don't want to go on. So that's it in its simplest form. And that's what makes this light so incredibly versatile, is that you have that capability. Of course, you have a xenon head and an LED head. One's gold, one's blue. It's a no-brainer. Um, <laughs> I believe you get a few hours of runtime on two AA batteries, and you get about 12 hours on one set on the LED. It just comes to show you how efficient LED lighting really is. Just amazing little light. Let's take a closer look and take some beam shots at it. All right, so like I stated before, the well tool is a very peculiar light in the fact that, of course, you'll see in a second. But here's what you get with the packaging. It has some um, model numbers on the back. Well tool, well tour, which is their kind of their motto. And again, they make some incredible lights. Uh, do check them out. What makes this light so interesting is the fact that it comes with two heads. You'll see a gold head, which is a xenon with a reflector. Let's see if we can adjust my lighting here and you can get a better shot at that. There we go. See the little reflector in there with the xenon bulb. You also get an LED head with a standard type LED. So that's kind of the magic of this light is you have two different types of heads to choose from. Of course, you do get the owner's manual. That gives you some pertinence. Let's take a look at those now. Again, you can hit pause here. <coughs> Pardon me. So the LED optical glass lens, aluminum alloy reflector, warm light, X LED. Now you can also see the color tints on here and the output with the candelas. And there were some interesting things that we found about this, and we'll go into that in a second, but look at the runtime on that LED head. 12 hours. <laughs> of course, it takes two double A's. So, the light itself, let's take a look at it. Now that's with the xenon head in there. You got an idea how warm that light is. It's a very nicely made light, especially when you start to compare it to its competitors, which are really cheaply made. Yeah, it's a super nice light. Just the anodizing is really nice. The head is just really well made. Uh, the clip is nice and strong. And it's just positive button pushes are really nice. It does come with a few batteries as well. Now, to change the head, all that you do is just unscrew it, pop the second head on, and you are good to go. It's really all there is to it, right? And you'll notice a very radically different beam profile, which we're going to go into. Now, the LED, as you can see, has this beautiful beam pattern, which is just spot on beautiful. This is a great multi-purpose light. Um, you can do just about anything with this light. It's just really multi-purpose. The battery life is astronomical on it. Now remember that, and we're gonna change the heads again. Because in a second, we're gonna go dark and you can kind of see the tints of these things. 
Again, here's the xenon with the reflector. Right, huge difference between incandescent and LED. Um, not much else to talk about in there, but let's take a look at some beam shots on this light. All right, so time to do some beam shots. Now, this isn't like the beam shot some of you have expected me to do, where I go out into the wilderness or the graveyard and I'm way far away from home. I am still doing this in the studio, but what I do have is a wrinkled up pure white, very cold white backdrop sheet that I've laid out. I use this backdrop as backdrop for other backdrops. It's a long story, but it will get the job done. Um, I have dim, very dim lighting coming through the basement windows, and that's what you can see on the sheet in front of you. So, for the first light, we're going to be holding it about two feet above the sheet. And this is the incandescent. That's about two and a half foot away. And that hot spot from there to there is probably under a foot wide. And you'll see a really nice corona going off to the edges. Um, pointing into my own eyes right now, it's extremely comfortable. It's not too bright. It's quite relaxing on the eyes. This is a really nice tent. But as you can see, for getting up and close, um, like the red on that, you can still notice that despite the warm tent, the red still looks kind of red. But this does a really nice job. It's a super clean light. Love it. All right, so let's check out the LED. And again, we're just going to unscrew it, as you can kind of see there in the camera, I hope. And we're going to put the LED head on. And you are going to notice one huge difference. Um, <laughs> you'll see. All right, LED head at about two and a half foot out. Now, some of the feedback I got was that the patients preferred the xenon and not this LED. They felt that the LED was a little brighter. I don't think that it's any brighter. It's actually putting out less power or less candela. But I think what the difference is, it just seems like it's a cooler tint and it's a little harsher on the eyes. However, this LED light right here is awesome for doing, well, let's say, you know, stuff that's maybe not nursing, maybe mechanical inspection work, because you get the 12 hour runtime with it, this would be a fantastic um, inspection light. Let's inspect these other two here, you know. Let's take a look at these other ones that are not so good. So using it like an inspection light, right, that kind of thing works quite well. Yeah, this is an awesome beam. Right now, I'm spread out about three feet. And yeah, I've, I've got a, a hot spot of over two foot wide. About a foot in, I have a hot spot the size of a small dinner plate right there. Again, absolutely perfect beam. You can see from the side profile, it doesn't have much spill outside of it. But it just absolutely, it's either there or it's not. Right? I mean, look at that. Beautiful beam pattern. So we're going to put the xenon in one more time. And the feedback that my wife got was that they preferred the xenon for patient use. She said it was more than enough to check for bubbles and IVs and, and other things. Um, there's the xenon again. A nice little light, right? Now we're going to compare that xenon to some of its competitors. This one's a very cheap LED light. This is one of the competitors. Let me see how we can turn it on. But you see how cool white the competition is. That's harsh on the eyes. This is the well tool. This is one of the cheap ones that you can buy. So right there, you can really see the difference between the cheapy and the nice one. I would spend the money on the well tool, honestly. You're going to get a much better beam than... I mean, this thing is about blue as it gets. That's a pure, cool white sheet from one of my backdrops, and it is just blue as can be. Look at that. It's really super cool white. So then we're going to look at another one of the cheapies. This is one that comes with button cells, if we can get it to work. That's a bit better. Uh, that's a bit better. 
the beam profile is absolutely horrible, but the color is about right on that. But the problem with this light is, as you see on the back, it's got exposed batteries. It's not water resistant. It's disposable. I think for the disposables, it gets the job done just fine, but, you know, it's a throwaway light. You just don't keep these. All right, guys. Well, let me know in the comments what you thought about the beanies. Cheers. All right, guys. Well, drop down below and tell me what you think of this. And also comparing it to other, you know, the standard uh, style pen lights that are, you know, going around out there. I do think when it comes to some equipment like this, you do get what you pay for. And yes, the wall tool might cost a few more bucks than the cheaper lights, but I also think you're getting a light with the wall tool that's going to last. That has been my experience with the wall tool. Uh, now, like I said, you know, Roll Tool reached out to me and said, hey, by the way, we have a new pen light. I have Roll Tool products. My wife is a critical care nurse. It all made sense. Um, and she does use this Roll Tool every single day. Now, the feedback that, again, that my wife got was that the LED light, which is in right now, seemed a bit too much for the patient's eyes, and they preferred the Xenon. Of course, if you look at the numbers, that doesn't really add up. But if you look at the beam pattern, it kind of makes a little sense. The Xenon seems a little bit warmer and is a little bit more appealing for the eyes, whereas the broad beam of the LED isn't so much as appealing to the eyes. But for other purposes, you cannot beat the LED in this thing. The beam pattern is amazing. So if you do inspection work, house inspections where you're looking up in rafters and that kind of thing, or an auto mechanic where you like to keep a little light clipped into your shirt while you're checking out engines and that kind of thing. It's a pretty hard light to beat. Again, that's what is the beauty of this light in its versatility is in the fact that you have a choice. This is not something you see very often in, in the flashlight arena. You don't often see the, actually, I don't think I've ever seen a light to where I could change it from LED to incandescent, from incandescent to LED. If someone knows of a light like this, let me know. Um, I'm kind of struggling right now. Um, and again, the light weighs, without batteries, 16 grams. With batteries, it's over an ounce, but it's pretty lightweight. I want to say an ounce and a half. I haven't weighed it. Um, it is IP55. What does that mean? It, does, it means it's not particularly fully waterproof, but it's very, very water resistant to sprays from every direction. And it's pretty much going to keep the dust out of it, is what that means. You should be good to go in this thing in a slight rain shower. You should be fine. Drop it in a bunch of sand. It will be just fine. Um, so again, do check it out on the link below to Amazon. The link down below is an Amazon link. However, I need to let you know that that is not an affiliate link. I do not get paid if you buy or visit that link. But do check it out. I hope you do get yourself one of these amazing little lights. Again, it's probably the most versatile pen light I've ever seen. Simply because of that, you could tailor the beam to your needs. That being said, guys, drop a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Get you a well tool. Cheers.